Hello everyone, welcome back to Ayuka's web series related to the telescope making. So today, after the grinding, we are going to start a polishing. Okay, polishing is the one of the stage of the uh, in a telescope making or you can say in a mirror making. So we'll start the thing. Okay, so initially whenever we are starting, you will find I have put this mirror and tool in a container along with the water. So I will just move this thing, take it on a table, I will fix the mirror and this is my pitch tool. Okay, so basically what happened after the grinding uh, with the subsequent grit, the last grit that is a 1200, still over after the 1200 grit, what you can see, you will find the glass is not completely transparent, but the glass surface is completely smooth, but not transparent. Okay, so we have to make that particular glass as perfectly transparent. It's a slightly opaque. So how to do that? For making or polishing that purpose, what we required? We required a pitch tool. Okay, and a pitch tool is nothing but a tar tool or a, this bitumen. It's made with bitumen or a tar coal. It's a pitch. Okay. In basically in India, we don't get a different type of the optical pitch. So whatever the petroleum based pitch is available in a hardware shop, we are going to use that particular pitch. But while using this, be careful, you have to check it. We don't require so hard a pitch. It should be a slightly uh, a softer or otherwise we can add a beeswax for making a soft or if you find that is a too soft the pitch then we can add the rosin to make it a slightly harder pitch. So after the pitch tool we required another things that is a cerium oxide okay or ferric oxide. So I am generally as a beginner level I generally instead of using a cerium oxide, I will always suggest you use a ferric oxide. It is the same thing. If you look at a carborundum and aluminum oxide, the carborundum uh, goes faster in a cutting the glass. Uh, aluminum uh, powder is cutting a slightly slower, but it gives the surface texture is the best. So the same thing. A uh, cerium oxide and ferric oxide, if you compare, the uh, cerium oxide will polish very faster. But at a beginner level, I will not suggest you to use a cerium oxide. Because if the mirror goes something wrong, again you have to come back to the grinding, do the grinding and go for the polishing. So we don't have to repeat this exercise because while doing this whole thing, might be possible that uh, while doing a polishing, if the, the strokes were not done properly and the polishing is not done correctly, so might be a create a problem. So my always suggestion use the ferric oxide. So we can use the ferric oxide. So how to use this or the most important part when we are talking about a pitch tool and polishing. So the initial thing that we have to make this pitch tool and keep in mind so you are grinding with a glass and there is another tool. So keep in mind, don't do the pitch tool on the same tool. Because if something goes wrong, if any scratch appears while doing a polishing, again you have to remove this whole pitch, clean it, then the grinding and again you have to pour the pitch lap. So instead of doing this uh, trouble or the double work, I will suggest you can take another glass blank and on top of that glass blank you can make this nice pitch tool. So how to make this pitch tool? Okay, let's go, we'll go to the lab and we'll make a fresh new pitch tool for our polishing. So for making a pitch tool what we required, so basically our main mirror is basically and for making a pitch tool, we required a glass blank. Okay, so keep in mind, don't use the your tool. Because if something goes wrong, you required the same tool 
for a grinding once again so in that situation please keep in mind buy the another glass blank which is uh, slightly thinner it's perfectly fine because we are just going to use this glass as our base for making a piece tool after this mirror tool what we required after this the most important thing we required to make a channels on this surface so i can use a freezer mat for making this particular channels but freezer mat if you look at properly the thickness of the freezer mat is a slightly thin okay so the thickness of this channels is almost 2 mm so instead of that what recently we have designed we have made this another channel thing that is a hexagonal and this is acrylic so on a acrylic we have cut down the hexagonal thing and made a mesh or net for making a channels of the pitch tool okay so that is the one thing then the most important thing is you also required a small a net okay which is extremely fine or if you don't find this particular thing you can also use a mosquito net for making on the basically it is required for making a small channels on main pitch tool surface apart from this the most important thing is a pitch okay so pitch is basically the bitumen or you can say the charcoal and basically we required the optical type of the pitch but unfortunately in india the most of the people don't understand the optical pitch so whatever the pitch is available on a hardware shop we can use that particular pitch for making our pitch tool and apart from this you required a gas lighter and the most important thing that is a different thing that is a strip of wax paper it's basically the a uh, back cover of any sticker so on every sticker you will find that is a wax paper so we required this strip it's basically if you can get it from any mall or somewhere it's a throw away thing so you can use this particular thing for making a paste tool that are the basically thing and pasting this you required a cello tape after this we'll start making a paste tool okay so initially starting what we required we have to pour a pitch on this particular glass blank for this glass blank what we can do we will measure this wax will cover with this wax paper and we'll pour a pitch inside this well well so i am just measuring according to the circumference of this thing now this particular length is almost more than a 2 inches so there is a if you look at properly this is a plain side and the one side there is a wax so we have to keep a wax paper inside so i will just fold this particular thing equally so that what will happen my pitch tool will be a perfectly fine with the same height so after folding this i will just roll it so it will take a proper curvature of my pitch tool or the basically it will cover my glass blank so i have made this roll okay so after making this roll i will just spread out and cover on the side of the this pitch tool okay so meanwhile what i will do i will start heating up a pitch tool 
all right so i will start the thing slowly it will get a boil and we will continue with this okay so now you will find it slowly my tar is become completely liquid okay it's completely form as a liquid so we cannot directly pour this hot pitch on a glass so before doing this thing what we have to do we have to slightly warm up this our particular tool so it will get a proper shape and it will stick properly to our glass so that is the one thing and simultaneously what we have to do after this we'll keep it down this particular thing before pouring we'll keep it a slightly away it will get a slightly hot or cool after some time so whatever the air bubbles will appear while making a pistol that will vanish okay and in between this what we'll do we'll just take a little bit of water and we'll keep this pan for getting a slightly warm up so while making this we required a warm water to put everywhere and according to the warm water we also required a liquid soap okay so the glass and the pistol will not stick to the each other so that is the important part so in between we'll use this thing and before pouring always keep in mind you have to wear apron so your clothes will be uh, protected from the tar and we'll continue so is completely boiled along with the hot water so now i will just pour this hot water in one container okay and i will keep my tool inside this hot water for a some time at the same time what i will do i will also do one thing a little hot water on this acrylic mesh so this mesh is also become a slightly warm up and after this whole thing ah my glass is completely hot now i will just clean properly now my setup is ready i will put once again the wax paper just on the circumference of this tool so what we'll do we'll pour a pitch inside this well okay and before doing this thing now i will keep my mirror once again in a what water now i will check it's slightly liquid thing it's still hot so we have to wait for a few minutes so it will just a good for making a pitch so how to taste this pitch is a nice so just i will put it a cold water little bit on this now i will remove this thing now you can just taste it like this it's a soft like a chingam or bubble gum so that means my pitch is very nice and i can make a proper pistol out of this okay
So now the next important thing, what we're going to do, we'll pour a pitch on the top of this, slightly cool down, then we'll put this net on this particular pitch tool, then we'll press it properly. So now basically the thickness of this mesh is almost four to five millimeter. So whenever I will make the grooves or the channels in between the pitch tool, the thickness will maintain. And once again, I will press the mirror. So what will happen? The eventually the pitch tool will take the curvature of the mirror. So mirror is a concave, the tool will become a convex. So once it properly mash, then it will polish very nicely. Okay, so we'll wait for a few minutes. Now, my this pitch tool or pitch is basically sl slowly and shortly were slightly cold down. So before I will do, I will remove my watch, ring, everything because it will create a scratch on a mirror. So I will remove most of the things so I can hold it properly and do it. So slowly I am pouring this tar. So you will find it's too hot. And it will eventually get a flattened down. It will spread everywhere equally. Okay. So slowly before left, I will cut down. So my one session or the most important thing is done. Now we have poured this particular thing on this glass and we are making a final pitch tool. It's still hot. So now our glass blank or the mirror is important. So while doing this, keep in mind which surface is actually ground and which is a flat. All right, so now I will just put a little bit of water on this net and it should not stick inside this pitch. So that is why I will use a little bit a liquid soap. So I have taken this liquid soap. Now I will put this liquid soap on this mat. So slowly this will help while removing from the pitch. It's done. At the same time, I what I will do, I'll put a little bit a soap on my main mirror. So it should not stick to the main surface. All right, so after doing this thing, the most important thing, now it's slightly cooled down. You can check it out. So I'm putting a little bit of water on the outside of the, this ring. So slowly it will get a little hard. and we can easily remove this ring. So it's little bit done. So I'm just keeping this. So 
so I'm folding a little bit on the outside so whenever I will press it will the excess material will come out after pouring this whole thing it will settle down and you will find the air bubbles are coming out so you have to wait the till the air bubble air bubble goes away so we'll settle it down properly okay once we have done we'll just rotate the thing so it will get properly match now i will put a little bit water on this even my mirror i will just take it out so it will cool down very fast once we have done i will put a little bit a liquid soap on a top of the mirror as well as we have done this on this particular thing it's before so again i will do it a little bit more on this it's done properly once again so it will not stuck inside the piece tool so slowly i am just pressing this now with the help of the mirror now i will press the entire thing once i have done a basic press with the help of the mirror now i will just use this particular thing that is a mosquito net on top of this so whenever that will match it will give the impression of the mosquito net so that is a more useful and while doing this rotate the mirror and press it properly put your whole body pressure to match the perfect surface okay so i will just slightly slide down the mirror slowly i will remove this so you will find a very nice tool is already done so it's almost done so slowly i will remove this net from this and before doing once again i will just press this mirror so mirror will take a perfect curvature the mirror not will mirror will not take its our tool will take the perfect curvature of the mirror surface so you will find now it's perfectly matching all the channels are done okay so slowly i will remove this thing now the most important thing be careful while removing this mesh it should not stuck inside this piece tool so slowly that is why we have used the liquid soap so that it will come out properly from the channels
when it will come out what we are going to do slowly done so my mesh is out from a pitch tool now my pitch tool has taken the perfect curvature all right so what i am going to do now i will keep mirror at the bottom and before leaving this i will put this mesh inside this so whenever it will get properly match it will take the shape of this particular thing so now i will keep it like this the tool on the top and in between the mirror there is a sandwich of our mesh so i am slowly keeping inside now i will pour a warm water on top of this so what will happen the eventually the surface will get a slightly hot and up and when it will cool down it will perfectly match the main mirror surface so for keeping this i am just going to keep a little more wet on this okay so slowly when the water will get a cold then we'll remove the thing and we'll remove the edges all right that is another task that we have to do keep in mind whenever we are making a same size of the pitch tool the pitch tool has to be a little bit a sub size hello so yesterday we have made uh, our pitch tool we have kept in a uh, hot water uh, when we made uh, the pitch tool and now we will remove this wax and we'll check it out how the pitch tool is now is perfectly taken the a shape of the mirror or not or we required any correction so slowly i am removing all this thing ah so now you can see it's properly channeled so i will just remove this paper now after removing this paper you will find this pitch tool is not properly uniform it's few things were come out from the pitch tool the excess amount of the pitch is came out so we have to remove that particular thing for that purpose again we'll do a little bit and keep in mind whenever you are going to use this pitch tool the pitch tool has to be a, a little bit sub size than our main mirror okay so now we'll start doing this thing we have to remove this edges outer layer and we'll make it a slightly smaller than our main mirror so i will start so i'm using a knife for purpose of cutting this whole thing so i will just make sure the knife should be a slightly hotter so it's easy to remove the most of the thing so before we start we'll just hold it like this we'll slightly warm up the edges and just throw away this particular pitch which we are going to remove from this so i am not holding like a 
perfectly parallel. I am holding a slightly on the angle side. So I am just cutting the edges. But while doing this, be careful. You have to take care while doing this. Particular exercise. So I'm just removing and making a perfectly clean knife and doing this once again. So it has become a slightly harder. So I will just little bit warm up the edges. But this is my regular exercise, so I can do it very easily. But whenever you are doing, just do it properly and take a proper precaution. So now you can see my pistol is ready. I will just show you how it is matching along with the mirror. So the all the channels are matching. Okay. So before we start and slightly you will find the mirror is slightly a smaller than our mirror. The tool has to be a smaller subsize a little bit. Again what I will do I will do a little bit of warm water and keep it for a while to match exactly perfectly. Okay. Then I will start polishing a particular mirror. Okay. So we will start the thing. So before we start, I will just put it this. Now, yesterday what we have done, the mirror was at the bottom and tool was on the top. So now we will keep it a slightly a different way. The tool will be at the bottom, 
the mirror will be on top so whatever there is a problem it will take the perfect shape of mirror so how much water i have to put it a slightly up than the our uh, pitch tool and then we'll put this particular mirror on this top of the thing and then we'll put a little wet i'm taking a maximum time for matching the exact perfect curvature once it perfectly matches then the polishing becomes extremely easy otherwise if the facets are not matching then it will create a problem it creates a zone so we'll discuss it out while doing this the next thing and whatever the this thing will just throw away we cannot use this particular thing because there are the few parts of the uh, papers so we'll throw this material and we'll uh, start up exactly the polishing on the next session so we have to start as uh, we have started as a grinding we have done a same type of the thing we'll start polishing and for the purpose of polishing what we require we require two different type of the material or the abrasive one is a ferric oxide and other one is a cerium oxide so we'll start the thing okay